Well, America's farmers are as much a symbol of our country as the stars and stripes, and arguably just as important. They put food on our tables, clothes on our backs. But for black farmers, the road has been rough, leading to the loss of millions of acres of farmland and a lack of trust. And now one of the very symbols of America, now in a fight with the federal government. We're quietly, one by one, losing our farms. It's a problem facing tens of thousands of struggling black farmers in America. We were one million black farmers, family strong in this country, tilling 20 million acres of land. And today we're down to 50,000 black farmers. So we're facing extinction. John Boyd Jr. is the founder and president of the National Black Farmers Association. He says more than a century of admitted racism within the U.S. Department of Agriculture, including refusing to process loans from farmers of color and foreclosing more quickly on minority farmers, resulted in the loss of roughly 15 million acres of land worth an estimated $300 billion. The result, a $5 billion lawsuit against the federal government to honor its promise to make it right. Uh, many black farmers were even deterred from uh, applying for assistance at USDA. Uh, I personally had my, my loan torn up and, and tossed in a trash can uh, right in front of me. Uh, I've been spat on by the, the person who's supposed to be lending me money. And I've been called racial epithets, uh, like it was uh, commonplace. Uh, from the lending officer at USDA. And the U.S. government admitted wrongdoing. In 2021, Congress approved $5 billion in debt relief for thousands of farmers of color. The money was included in the $1.9 trillion COVID-19 stimulus package, the American Rescue Plan Act. But before the money could be paid out, white farmers in several different states filed lawsuits, arguing the program violated their rights, calling it reverse discrimination and prompting judges to halt the program. One of those farmers, Texas Agriculture Commissioner Sid Miller, who called the debt relief unconstitutional. It was racist. You know, it was based on skin color, not on need or economically disadvantaged. Uh, look, I'm for minority farmers getting help if they need it. But this gave help whether they needed it or not. And it's excluded uh, all the other races, which is just, uh, uh, it's just plain racist. Look at the history of the USDA debt relief offered to white farmers. Look at what the Trump administration offered uh, to subsidies and direct uh, debt relief and administration of money to white farmers in the last four years. And you look at less than 1% went to black farmers. Now, is that not racism? Why is it only when black people are going to get benefits from the government, do we call it racism? Civil rights attorney Ben Crump is fighting back on behalf of Boyd and three other plaintiffs, filing a class action lawsuit against the federal government, saying it broke a binding contract to pay 16,000 farmers of color $4 billion in debt relief, money allocated to wipe out 100% of debt with the USDA and an additional 20% to pay off the taxes owed. But that money was never paid. We hope to bind the federal government to their promise that was made contractually with the black farmers. We hope to make up for 40 acres and a mule that were denied to black farmers and black soldiers and black people over 150 years ago. So that lawsuit is pending in the U.S. Court of Federal Claims. Meanwhile, the USDA says litigation likely would have continued for years if they had not changed the laws, leading Congress to amend the bill to include all farmers in distress. That proposal allocates more than $3 billion to USDA-backed loans and $2 billion to farmers who the agency discriminated against. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.